going on everybody it's metal dfs coming to you live and direct here to get my favorite plays for today we got a five game main slate for lpl and lck league of legends hope everybody's having a great day if you like the video please subscribe to the channel press that bell icon to always stay notified of new videos let's get into these plays y'all going to the first match anyone's legend versus weeble gaming highly favorite for weeble gaming a 2-0 sweep as well they do have a 1.1 kd ratio a higher gold percentage baron and jungler control and this matchup like this play for them we do have live sandbox going against t1 but i'm looking at t1 for a landslide they have the highest kd which is kill death ratio first blood dragon baron and jungler control love this play for t1 in this matchup going to the next match ig versus rng which we're looking at a highly favorite in this matchup as well which i like a 2-0 sweep for rng and second highest kill death ratio on the slate 3.1 gold percentage First blood percentage is 73% for the team, as IG has a 0.67 KD ratio. They should dominate them in this spot. Our next play, we got KDF versus Dragon X. Looks to be a slow game, but the reason why I like KDF in this matchup for today is because they beat the Sandbox 2-0 sweep, but DRX lost a 2-0 sweep. So going to give the edge to KDF. They even out in jungler control, lane control. Going to our last play, we do have Victory 5 versus Top Esports, which I think this is going to be a banger matchup. I'm going to give V5 the upset in this match. They did beat Rare Adam 2-1. Top Esports, they've lost a 0-2 sweep. So, love this matchup. They both even out in KD ratio. Top Esports does have the upper hand in gold and jungler control. But I'm going to give V5 a 2-1 in this matchup. So, let's get right into these plays. Going to the first play at top spot. Going to go with Zeus. Averaging 4.6 KDA. Averaging 6.3 assists a match with 22.3 damage share. And this matchup should dominate in this play for today. Also in play, Ken. He has a 2.8 KDA, a 64.2 kill participation with a 22.6 kill share. And he has a 31% damage share, which is the highest for a top laner. So Keen's also in great play at 6K if you need some savings. Going to my next play at a jungler spot. I like Honor, smashing spot, 7.1 KDA with 8.7 assists a match, 75.2 kill participation with 21 kill share, 86% in first blood. For the team with a 16.6 damage share which is the highest for the junglers love this play for him i think it's going to be a great matchup with carsa versus xiaoping stats are neck to neck honestly for carsa's in play if you want to look for a saving spot he does have a 5 kda 75 percent kill participation with 19 death rate compared to xiaopong he has a 23.8 percent death rate but he does have a 15 damage share, which is the highest for junglers. But I will give it up to Carson in this matchup. You need some savings at 6,400. Another play you can also look into Way at 7K. He has a 3.9 KDA, 7.6 assists a match, averaging a 68.3 kill participation. And compared to Shun, it's only averaging a 1.5 KDA, averaging three deaths a match. So Way's in a great matchup if you need to pay down. To our next play, going to our mid laners. I love Faker in this play. 6.6 KDA, 4.9 kills a match, averaging 1.6 deaths a match, which is a great stat. 64.6 kill participation percentage with 30.1% kill share, 25.9 damage share. Compared to Closer, he's averaging a 2.2 KDA with a 2.3 deaths a match, but he does have a highest kill share at 31.9% and damage here at 32.6 percent for the mid laners but i like faker in this matchup another play will be shahu honestly he's going to be my captain play for today he's averaging a 6.1 kda with a 72 percent kill participation with 30.4 kill share which is highest in lpl he does have a nine creep score per minute or 4.5 kills per match averaging a 6.1 assist a match with a 31 percent damage share compared to yukai he's only averaging a 2.5 kda which is the lowest for a mid laner so shahu smash and play for today going to our bot lane we got gala love this play for him averaging 7.5 kda 4.5 kills per match 5.8 assists a match with 70.2 kill participation, 30.4 kill share with a 12.7 death rate, which is the lowest for the bot lane. Compared to Xiaoyuiji, he's averaging a 
2.4 KDA in the past four games, but 22.9 death rate, which is the highest for a bot lane. So he should dominate in the play for today. Love the price tag. Another play you can look at is Teddy at 72. Turn it around. Last match, he has a four KDA. I think he's gonna dominate death in this play. He has a 1.2 KDA with the 20.6 death rate. We're not sure if he's gonna be confirmed today. Hopefully he does, because it's a nice saving spot for the bot lane. You can also go with Guma Yusi. Guma Yusi has a 5.3 KDA with 4.7 kills per match, but a 1.7 deaths a match, so that's good to know. With a 9.9 .9 creep score per minute, which is the highest for a bot lane, with a 55.8 kill participation, 29% kill share with 24.6 damage share. So Guma Yusa is also in a great play at 7,800. Going to our next play, going to our support. Cure, smash and play in my opinion. 5.8 KDA, 22.6 death rate, which is the lowest for support. If confirmed, but he should play. He has a, a 10.6 death sh uh, damage share, which is the highest for support, with a 10.7 assist a match. Cure to me is an easy play to look at for today. You do have PP God. Going against Zuo, which is, I think is going to be a great matchup. But if you need some savings, PP guys in play. He's averaging 3.1 KDA with a 75% kill share. But against Zuo, he has a 73% kill share, 4.2 KDA. But PP guy, if you need savings at 5K, but I'm definitely going with Kier. And then for team, will be KDF and B5 will be my savings play. Hopefully, they have an upset in this matchup. And of course, you can pay up to RNG with a sweep. But these are my plays, y'all. Like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below. Love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.